Uh, I think uh, let's let's really not forget that markets uh, are uh, really doing very well, and we are uh, seeing the levels at all-time high. Uh, so my my uh, advice or my uh, uh, adv- uh, sincere advice will be to retail investors to be cautious uh, in buying at this level, and they must really buy for at least two to three years uh, uh, horizon perspective. Now, having said that, I would say that. Uh, Auto, auto uh, sector looks good. Within auto, we like uh, Mahindra and Mahindra. We like uh, uh, Hero Honda, and we like Telco. Uh, we also like the banking sector. Uh, I think we have been pushing it for so many years, and still we think that there is a uh, lot of steam left. Uh, uh, State Bank of India, ICICI Bank, and Central Bank. These are our favorites. Uh, and uh, the third sector, I would say, is the real, real estate sector, which is really not doing so well. So my sense is that real estate sector. I think some of the stocks, like say new, uh, newly listed stock like Obra Realty, uh, can do very well. So so I'll come in uh, on on this one. We've spoken about real estate, uh, but a couple of other spaces that really haven't done too much. Infrastructure as a theme has not performed at all for the last 12 months. In fact, individual stocks would have performed worse than real estate index as a whole. You like this pocket? I think uh, from from the longer term perspective, infrastructure uh, I would say remain an exciting story. Uh, but but you know I think some of the sectors, especially power and all, there uh, would be limited kind of I think appreciation uh, uh, because of the cap on the returns and all. So while we are positive on the infrastructure sector as a whole, but we need to look at the bottom of stories rather than really overall on the sector uh, because there is going to be a lot of headwinds uh, and various dynamics playing in the sector. Mr. Oswal. Uh, we spoke about uh, some key stocks and Ashok was mentioning about FMCG and a lot of people are now speaking about you know addressing those themes which cater to the consumer the end consumer and those themes would benefit for the next couple of years you, you believe this can happen large cap FMCG can make a move because they haven't done anything for the last 10 years no I think if you look at uh, uh, FMCG in this year I would say they have done well uh, uh, say the stocks like Lever or Nestle, they actually are uh, uh, being valued at very high levels. So my sense is that uh, uh, at this valuation, say more than 30 times or more than 26, 27 times, FMCG, especially the MNC stocks, looks uh, a bit overstressed or overvalued. So I would not recommend uh, the buying at uh, these levels. Uh, although I would like uh, the pharmaceutical sectors rather than the FMCG, uh, which of course is the play on the consumption. Mr. Oswal, uh, you know, one word really on the Coal India listing because the pickup has been fairly strong on day two as well. Uh, you know, I'm not asking you to guess the price one year down the line from here, but really, where do you see the stock headed? No, I think uh, there's a huge amount of excitement uh, among the investors, especially the foreign investors. Uh, and uh, this size, like now, it is the fourth largest market cap company, I think, with. Uh, I think I would say some upside left uh, for these levels and if you are looking at next 2 to 3 years I would say one must be uh, part of uh, the portfolio.